Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a very short video for you that will show you how to design a Weebly website. And uh, just before I do so, once you've watched the video, if you want to access a free trial version of Weebly, you can do so by clicking the link in the description down below. So that will allow you to click and access it for completely free or for yourself. When you log in, it'll look something like this. That'll be the dashboard that you get to. Sometimes it'll load the little guide to create a website. And um, what you'll need to do is run the wizard from the top right hand corner where it says my site. Um, all you need to do there is click and hit, click add site right there. And that'll load then the guide that takes you through the process of making a website from scratch. You're able to click uh, make a new site and you know add a store if you want to in that previous step and what you do then is browse the templates that are available to you and have a look at what's around that closest resembles the site that you want so find a template which is kind of you know looks like your idea basically and um, you know there aren't loads of them have a look around and you can change this at a later date that i'll show you in a second um, and they kind of obviously update that quite regularly as well. So I'll go for this one. And as you can see, you can kind of get a quick preview of it and then hit start editing in the top right hand corner then. So once that loads, it's going to prompt us to um, link it to a custom URL, which I'll deny it for a second. Um, you can always do that further down the line. If you want to connect it to a domain name that you've purchased from an external provider, you can do so. However, for today, we're just going to go over the very, very quick basics of designing the site. Um, so that's what I was talking about just now. As you can see um, in a second on the left hand side, it's that's the what's regarded as elements the elements menu. Um, so most of the kind of basic web design elements are available there. And what you do to kind of incorporate them into your website is then click and drag them straight in. So you can see that when I drag one of the boxes in, I can get these blue lines to appear and that kind of denotes where it would appear on the web page. So if I drop it there, for example, it would then appear as an image um, in the middle of those uh, paragraphs and that title. And then I could just click that and upload an image from there, from my computer text, for example, um, you can click it. And then the menu to add it, that text appears like so. Um, and you can double click the text then to edit it all and just type in whatever you need to in its place. Everything works like that. The images you can single click and replace and re-justify and kind of um, change some of the basic settings. If you can't find whatever you're looking for on the left hand menu here, it's going to be available in the app store. There's third party apps that cover almost all of the kind of features that you would need. You can change the theme of the website at any point, um, which is basically the way of going back to the template browser and it incorporates the content that you've already created. So the images that you've uploaded and the text that you've typed in would stay and then just the layout would change. And then you can add, if you go back, uh, pages to your website by clicking the pages menu at the top there. And then you can navigate to them, rename them, retitle them, delete them if you need to and then add new ones by clicking that little plus symbol right there. And that will allow you to select some basic page categories to add from. That's pretty much it. You can get to the settings of your website to then, you know, connect it back to a URL if you need to, uh, that you've bought and access some of the basic settings for your site. Once you're happy with the look of it and how it's constructed, you can hit publish and that will make your site available for public consumption. So that concludes the video tutorial. And like I said, there's a free version of Weebly available in the link in the description down below. So just give that a click. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of that nature, give us a link and um, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos, you can leave them down below as well. Thank you very much.